project at Stratchy Court. The first fixed plumbing has started to happen, so you can see where uh, they've started marking where radiators are going to go and drilling the holes for the pipes. These obviously pipes you can see. So those ones over there will be for uh, radiators. And in here in the ensuite, you can see plumbing for both the shower and the, and the sink, sorry, the basin and heating in these areas. So that's what's happened up here. They've obviously ordered the shower tray. So normally in these projects, I order all the sanitary wear, but I don't order the um, shower trays just because I leave it to the builders so that they can have control over the where the waste goes so that they obviously know best which position it's gonna drain best. So I leave that to them to order. Um, so yeah, they've obviously ordered those they're in. I think up here, I mean, they've sort of just been yeah, finishing all the stud work and start, probably starting to put insulation in as well over this week. So again you can see plumbing work starting to happen. This is obviously the, the base for the shower tray to provide enough fall. You can see plumbing lines starting to come here, so that's going to be where the sink, the kitchen sink is, and obviously onto the downstairs ensuite. Sorry, not ensuite, oh, um, it's not an ensuite, it's a shared bathroom for two tenants. Again, here, I'm guessing this is for radiator. Yeah, so radiator's going here. And yeah, just finishing the stud work, and there's a bit of um, what I think a bit of work's happened in the porch. I can't remember if that was happened last week, but I think they've done the roof um, this week. Um, and yeah, I think that's basically it. So they're ready to sort of insulate everything um, next week. Look through here. Part you can work. really see the footprint off the place now. So yeah, I think I said in last last week's vlog, obviously this is the bedroom that we're using the space under the stairs as a wardrobe, so we don't have to have a freestanding wardrobe. And therefore you can give that room a bit more space by not having to accommodate furniture. So this will be the, the walk-in wardrobe, if you like, for this room. That's gonna be a window. Yeah. Oh yes, I haven't seen it. So yeah, they've obviously made this, this needs to be a window. There wasn't a window there before, so they've now sort of started to cut the position where that's going to be. So yeah, things are happening. So I hope you enjoyed that update and I hope it was helpful. I'll see you next week.